Hi guys, welcome to the new video of this Linux tutorial series. In this video, we're gonna discuss uh, how to run command in background and exactly why we need this uh, like this feature. So this we're gonna discuss. But uh, the thing or the symbol or the command that we can use to run any command in the background is we can use and percent sign and one more command is there in Linux that is no hub. So how we can leverage them uh, basically in between we can discuss multiple more commands that is related to these only like one of the command we are going to discuss is jobs l what what this is why we use is why we use fg command so multiple things are there now first thing we are going to discuss is why we need to run a command in the background so let's assume this scenario let's say you are running a command called date with a watch okay so if you run this command till the time you don't exit or don't close this console of watch command you can't able to run any another command maybe you need to open a new terminal and you need to run that particular command but from here you can't able to run see i'm pressing the keys but nothing is happening as soon as i press a q or the control c then only i will able to run the new command so this is one thing let's say i want to open a browser so opening a browser with Firefox command, it's getting open, but if I go to the terminal again, it's not giving me prompt again to run new command. Let's say I want to run date command. See, nothing is happening, no output is coming because that is not a prompt. Prompt is not taking that command. So what option we have is <clears throat> either close the Firefox by going manually to Firefox or we can use one signal also. So there is one dedicated uh, chapter on the signals also like there are multiple signals in Linux. So by pressing Ctrl C we are sending a signal to operating system to close this program. Then only we can run date command or any other, other command. So this is a use why we need to run any command in the background because if we are running some interactive command let's say firefox or let's say we are running the watch command or the grab command or the cat command these are interactive commands and they don't till the time we don't close these programs we are not able to run any another command basically so same thing is with uh, grab and cat also if you want to see if i press grab see grab this so I am not able to run any command. This is not able. I am not able. Uh, like I am not running command. I am giving the output to input to the grab command. So this is a need why we need to run some command in the background. Now how we can do is the one way is this add person symbol and the syntax of this is we need to give command. Any command we can give then this sign. Okay, so this will give us an output in two things like it will give some number in this braces and some number here. Now what number is this is let me give you the term first PID that we discuss in when we are discussing the top command. So that is a process ID. So we can uniquely identify process with this number. Here is the shell ID or the shell job ID you can think. So let's say you are running this command first in the background, command two in the background, command three in the background. So a shell will also create one job ID. So these are the jobs for shell. These three are the job, jobs for shell. Shell will also create one ID for these jobs and th this will be stored here. Okay. So this may be any random number but this is like one, two, three in a, 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 like in order basically. So if I run the date command in the background. So we no need to run the date command in the background because as soon as you run date command it will give us an output on the screen directly but just think the date is not, not a date command it's a grab command basically i am going to show this demo also but let's think of it date and then end percent c uh, don't confuse with this one second don't focus on what i am doing is Okay, let me run the cal command in the background okay see if you see in the down here it's saying done completed and given this block this is one uh, as a job id and which command we run so to understand it better let's run a watch command watch I want to run date but 
If I do this, it will open an interactive console for me. I don't want to run this JET command in the background with watch. So what does it mean? C. In the down, if you see, we are running this command. And this is a currently in the stop mode because it's gone to the background mode. And this is when some job ID. And this what we have is, is a process ID. So this is a process ID of this basically watch date and how we can see the process ID one way is we can see the top also let me check it's coming or not so for uh, this is not coming no issues there is one more command that we discussed in detail when we are checking the process management but if you do this ps hyphen aux see in the down here it's 10855 that is the process ID now let me hold it again somewhere see 10855 it's a process id and this is a job id now i want to run one more command with watch only that is scale but in the background see it's given me another shell shell id shell job id in a order way and this is a process id and let's say i want to run third is firefox now see the difference guys if i run directly firefox it will not allow me to run any other, other command but if i use n percent so in the background it's open in firefox but if you see on the terminal now i can run any command whatever i want to run and for this firefox running in the background it's created with this shell id shell job id and with one process id now the next command you can use is jobs hyphen l so it will list all the jobs all the jobs that that are present in shell or in a way i can say that whatever the commands you run with this n percent shell created one job id so if you want to see all the jobs id you can use this command jobs hyphen l so if i do jobs hyphen l see these are the shell ids and these are the process ids and this is currently running because if you see here it's running but for the this two it's stop because why stop it's they already given the output and they uh, going back to the background state now let's say you want uh, your program that is running in the background will come again will come again in the foreground foreground so you want this uh, watch scale watch date to be run again in the foreground now what foreground means is in the background command is running means you are not seeing the live output the live output or the live screen basically or you are not able to see in real time it's in the background running in the background but letting foreground again or let the app again come to the foreground means seeing those things in real time again or seeing the output in real time that means if we take the foreground which command this watch command date we run this command in the background with this symbol if you want to take this again in the foreground means show me the console of this watch date in the real time that means foreground means taking only running this command without this n percent so uh, running this command with n percent means taking the application or command in background but if you want to take that particular application or command again in the foreground that means uh, you can think of like running the command only let's say watch date only directly without n percent so this will give you a real time view or the console of watch itself so how you will take is there is another command fg only so what fg will do is if you write fg without any option it will take the command or the application in the foreground that is like that is that goes away into the background in the very last so if i use fg c what it took away cal now why cal if i do control c c we have cal here and why it's not taken the firefox because it's already running we can't take the uh, uh, running thing again into the running so we can only take the apps or the uh, commands uh, to the foreground that are in the background state so it's like uh, you can think of firefox is already in the foreground you can't take the thing that is in foreground again to the foreground you can only the things to the foreground that is running in the background so the last background thing is the scale now if I do FG, see now date automatically come up. If I do now this job hyphen L, see only Firefox is running. 
Why? Because we already taken this two from background to foreground and those are like close again. We, we close manually by control C. So if I do watch date and percent again and watch cal and percent again. If we do job hyphen L. Now if I use FG command, it will take me to it will take this command from background to the foreground because it's a last run background command. See, watch, it's taking the watch of cal. See, it's showing the output of cal because it's last in this jobs hyphen L. So it will take from decreasing to increasing order. Now, if I do watch cal again and if I do jobs hyphen L now, you will see some difference. Again, if I use FG, it will take this cal, but I don't want this cal to come in the foreground. I want to this command come in the foreground from background. So what you can do is FG, the syntax is percentage, then the shell job ID. The shell job ID is 4. Let me explain you the this. To take specific command or app in foreground from background, the command is FG percentage shell job ID that you see in those braces basically. See now date will come. See and we are closing it manually with control C so that will be wrong from jobs hyphen L. Now if I do FG percentage five that is just equals equals to FG only. Why? Because that is only one thing that is in the stop state or that is in the background state. See and if you want to close this browser thing let's close it. Now there will be no thing in background so jobs hyphen L will be empty. See it's done, seeing it's done and now nothing. So there are uh, three states in uh, jobs hyphen L. One is stopped, running and done. Stop means that command or application is actually in background, actually in background. Running means that command or application like Firefox is in background, is in background but not in stop state, not in stop state. That is running, running in background. So that app is running but uh, that is not stop, that is running but in background. And the state of stop means that app is in background and that is also not running, not running. That is in stop state, that is in pause state. Done means the thing we open in the background that is done completely and those are exited successfully. So this is all about like how we can run a command in the background, how we can take the background command from to the foreground. If you want to take specific uh, background command to the foreground, then we can use percentage and the shell job ID. What is shell job ID? How we can check the job list? Everything is explained here. Now the next come to the no hub command. So no hub command is similar to this command only. The syntax let me explain you very quickly. So the no hub then the command name and the end percent. This no hub command will also generate one no hub dot output in your current directory that will store the output of that command. So if you are running directly command with end percent, uh, see in the ls if I do and if I run this date end percent, no nothing will generate it in this current directory. But if I do with the no hub command and the command name cal end percent, it generated first thing it's taken that uh, cal command in the background how we can see is from here uh, if you want to see it then the best way is watch command only watch date and person and this is a command one second wait it goes away this is a command and I'm using no hub in the and oh one second one second if I run directly see and if I job hyphen L Okay, and if I do ls, one second, it's generated no hub dot output for different thing. Let me show you demo this very quickly. Ft control c. Now, if you check jobs hyphen l, there is nothing. And if I run watch date and percent, before that I want to show ls, there is nothing. Watch date and percent. If I do ls, nothing is here, no file is generated, but if you check in the job siphon l, see it's there. And if I want to run watch cal n percent, it will not generate any file, but if I run it with the same no hub, 
it will generate one file see it's written in the down also no hub dot output is generated if i do ls no hub dot output is here see no hub dot output is contain this output the content of this why because <coughs> if you do jobs hyphen l you run that command watch scale with the no hub that's why no hub I created one file no hub dot output dot out with the output of this command and that's why we are able to see here in jobs hyphen l also and the main difference between running this command directly <coughs> uh the watch date and percent and uh, no hub watch date percent the main difference between these two is it will take the application or the command in background same thing no hub will also do command in background it will take but this will take application or command in background in stop state that means in pause state that i told you there are three states stop running and done so it will take the command with stop state what no hub will do is it will take that command in running state you can see in jobs hyphen l also see so that is all about the no hub command and the taking the application to command in background and foreground what is shell job id everything if you like the video please subscribe my channel please like my video if any doubts you can post your doubts into the comment box and you can reach out to me over the linkedin also i will be happy to help your questions Thank you for this video. Let's meet in the next video. Thanks.